We're winning, yeah! In a previous video, we converted this Ego Z6 zero-turn ride-on mower into remote control. So make sure you check that out at the end. But we asked in that video for suggestions of what we should do with this area. And this comment here is the one that got it because we now have a automatic tipping butt on the front and a garden implement storage area in the middle. Oh yes, right, check out how we made it right now and then we'll use it at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Right, so in here somewhere, I have got a skip which might be just the perfect thing to use because right oh come on ken move out of the way how do you pick up a mannequin let's do that there we go ah stay good boy chainsaw move that out of the way i have got a skip right so hopefully this is going to work right so the idea is that this will fit onto the front there we are something along those lines obviously we'll make it better than this to be fair that actually looks a bit big is that too big oh no that is a bit big hang on what happens if we Put that down there, look. Is that? No, I think that's too big. Get the principle, right? So this is here, and then that is gonna tip up there, with obviously with a linear actuator, to be able to tip stuff out. But we need to design a frame up so it's stronger, and so it works even better. Well, I think that's pretty cool. Well, so unfortunately, I think that skip is a little bit too big, so we're gonna fabricate up our own. So yeah, so what, what is the plan? So we're gonna make a, a tipping skip here, it goes up like that, like that, yeah? Okay, cool, and it's gonna have a proper little actuator, you know, electronic, hydraulic ram, whatever you wanna call it, in underneath to be able to tip up that butt. And we're gonna be able to do that remotely. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have a remote controlled utility car. Excellent. And we've got the battery bit back here, but we've got to still got a bit of space in here where the seat was. So in there, we're gonna make a proper garden tidy. So you can keep all your garden tools and equipment and everything all in there nice and tidy and make it into a proper little garden utility vehicle. Build montage, let's crack on, let's build it, and then we'll go and test it. Luckily, I found a shop sold red barrow from a local supplier that we're able to modify. my mini me here yes max is with me he's been learning to weld for a long long time and he wanted to do it in the video so now's his chance he's going to weld up the butt for us i've already tacked it so it's all in place so you just got to do the really trendy welding because to be fair he's probably better than i am Welded. Let's make the tipping gear. Let's crack on. Right, so we've got a ESC. A Linear actuator. Yeah, and we've got to pull power through from there and then for it to control from that. So we need to connect that to the receiver, the receiver to the ESC, ESC and then we need to get power to the ESC, which will just use a temporary battery. Right, let's connect it up temporarily, make sure everything works, then we can do it properly. Is that a plan? Yeah. Right, let's go. We got it all wired up. All you have to do is press the button that way for it to go in and the other way for it to go out. Right, let's put it all together and we'll meet you in the garden. I've crashed it already. 
So we all get to that stage where we're cutting hedges and you know, you don't want to have to do too many trips to the compost area. You've got all your leaves, you want somewhere to load them up, but you don't want to use a normal wheelbarrow. Well, the Ego Utility Garden Cart is what you need. Do you struggle to carry all of your equipment around the garden? Well, you need the Ego Utility Garden Cart. Lovely little machine, huh? Do you need a tool to take out that back-breaking work of having to push a wheelbarrow with heavy loads? Well, you need the Ego Utility Garden Car. So there we are guys, that is the Ego Utility Garden Cart project complete with regards to the actual structural build of it. But we've still got one more thing to do and I've still got to scratch my head on it and that's we are going to get Rob from Belts and Boxes in the United States of America, you know, stand back, to drive this thing from there. So I've got to work out how I can make this work so that he can drive it from his phone. Yeah, I know, that's gonna be a bit of a brain scratcher, but we're gonna work it out. So please subscribe to this video. Please go out and check the last video out we've done this when we converted it to RC. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much to Max for welding it for me, because that was just brilliant. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.